Alnus is also a physics student. Oh yeah, that's what yeah. I'm he's he's fun to watch. Yeah, I remember his last match. It was because I was actually working along with it, and he smoked me. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. So we're gonna see this CAD battle. Let me flip over to full screen here, and we're gonna show this 2D print to uh, Five Lax and to Allness. And this is gonna go. As soon as I show this print, you guys are live. So here we go in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? Tolerance is plus or minus one gram. And this is MMGS and plain carbon steel. This part is called horn bracket. Both of our runners are already at it. So here we go. Let's flip over. Let's take a look at how they do it. Looks like on both screens, we can see our runners selecting a plane and beginning a sketch. And now we get to see kind of the, the difference between the two CAD packages and also the difference between the two styles of creating CAD. The approaches, yeah, that's that's probably one of my favorite parts is just, you know, comparing how I would attack it versus how they're attacking it. Because it's a great place to learn. Yeah, we see that uh, both of our runners look like they're going to go with the uh, modeling half approach, you know, and then using some kind of mirror, maybe at the sketch level, maybe at the feature level. And uh, and then we see that uh, our runners look like they're both ignoring your advice and or maybe taking your advice and choosing to include those fillets in the actual original sketch i think this is one place where i would do that okay so it's todd approved <laughs> and we see the runner on the right all this using on shape already has some 3d geometry created so he was able to get that uh, initial shape in place. We see the runner on the left, Five Lax, is kind of including a little bit more uh, geometry in his initial sketch, right? Uh, Allness is using more of the keep your sketches simple approach. That's the approach that I like as well. And uh, Chris is doing the approach where he's kind of including more, you know, maybe more than he needs initially, and he's going to be able to use and reuse that using what are called shared sketches. Now we see Allness on the right doing a cut with that tombstone shape. Wow, look at that. Cut that tombstone and that hole through both ends. That was a uh, very that speedy was pretty creation. slick. Yeah, I like that. That was the one thing I noticed. He does. Uh, he has some sneaky tricks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. He's, he really knows his way through this software, through the Onshape software, and knows a lot of little tricks to just make it, you know, fly through and uh and really use and reuse the existing geometry in the model that's uh that's something i've noticed that all this is very good at but i'm, I'm watching the other one because you know it's just one of those ones that it's looking like it's going to come together really quick he's doing the work up front and then the last bit of it should come together really fast so that's what i'm anxious to see Yes, Five Lax is an absolute wizard at uh, using and reusing sketch geometry, selecting sketch contours and things like that. So completely agree with your assessment. The other problem with this, this particular challenge is that the drawing, a lot of the dimensions are coming from kind of weird places. Um, not, not totally weird, but just like, is it coming from the inside or the outside of that mean bar? And so I think that's, uh, I'm really enjoying watching the competitors. <laughs> kind of uh, figure out their way through that. Wow, look how quick he was able to just take that face and then reuse that to change the depth. Uh, the uh, Speaking of allness, uh, that was that that uh, extension of that. It was almost like a move face in SolidWorks. I don't know what right. he used there in Onshape to accomplish that so quickly, but wow, he really blasted through that model. Oh, look at this. He's got some, uh, oh, that's nice. A real quick access to that mass properties. That and was quick. Yeah. That was really, yeah. I noticed he's got, look at, he's got like all three of the potential. It's almost like starting a template and having that stuff pre-cooked, but he's just got it. Nice. Yeah, that's really clever. So uh, the answer that Allness came in with there is, uh, let's see here, 815.745. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. So uh, Allness is going to need to uh, take a look at his model and try to figure out what exactly uh, was off. Got to do that final spin, right? Look at the model. Yep. Look at the two. I, I didn't see the final spin, so I was a little bit nervous. <laughs> so, and we're going to see uh, on the left, we got five lakhs. Uh, still has the opportunity to get in here and, and uh, potentially get the point. And we see all this 
trying to uh, double check all his dimensions. I'm sure he's looking at that 2D print. Our competitors have grabbed a screen capture of this 2D print uh, initially. That's what happens at the very beginning. They both have a technique for grabbing a screen capture. Alnus has a chance here to get one more wrong answer. And Five Lacks is going through and, and creating the geometry that he needs to get the, you know, the mass created here. I have to sip my coffee. I'm so nervous about this. <laughs> it was, uh, that, that was, that was, again, that was one of those, like, really setting the screen on fire. Yeah. Uh, for, for all this coming through with that, all that geometry. And so... And everything's falling into place on uh, the other one. Yes. On five lakhs. I mean, yep. it's. That's what you were kind of predicting was that mm -hmm. uh, uh, he was going to be able to use and reuse that geometry, you know, in a, in a pretty efficient way. So we see that five lakhs decided to, to model basically just half the model all around and was then able to uh, go in and uh, do what's called a mirror. I guess a mirror all he used at the end there, essentially. Yep. And so we see five lakhs looking at the mass and entering the mass. We see allness has entered the mass of 838. That is correct. Wow, man. Oh, this and five lakhs was just off. Speed demon, yeah. And allness coming in right behind him, 847. So Nine looks grams. like maybe there was something off on that. Uh, yeah, the tolerance on that one was plus or minus one gram. So, holy smokes, Allness just flying through that model. All right, cool. Well, GG, guys, put GG in the chat. So close to both of our runners. That gets Allness one point, but the match is not over. Uh, we are going to do this as a best of three. Uh, Allness saying so many small, tough details in this model. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Good. Glad you enjoyed this challenge today. If you guys are enjoying watching these challenges, be sure to put...